Hey, what's going on guys? I hope everybody's doing well. First of all, I'd like to apologize for that annoying noise in the background. It's just the pool filter. Um, but we actually have heaps to do today. So, uh, it's been a while since I last picked up the camera, but that doesn't mean that nothing's been done. Uh, well, I haven't actually done very much, but we're getting really close to putting the engine back together. So now we're gonna do all the really boring parts and all the really boring bits of prepping all the parts to be installed onto the new freshly machined engine block. So I've actually picked up something uh, pretty special from the machine shop. So half of the engine is actually done and ready to go. So there's something very special below the sheet. Oh my God, look at the head. It is so clean. I don't know if you can remember guys, but it was absolutely filthy and rusted and I just really didn't think that it was gonna do any good. But oh, it's really cleaned up really nicely. So I don't know if you guys recall, I did actually have two heads that I purchased just in case one wasn't uh, good enough to be used. Um, this is actually the original head of my engine, which I thought actually looked a lot worse than the replacement head that I have. Um, but the boys at Milton's did clean up that second head that I had as well. So that second head is pretty much all good to go. It uh, just needs a few parts like valve springs and things like that. Um, so I'm going to keep that just in case shit does hit the fan. Um, and with the amount of money that I paid for that, it'd be stupid for me not to keep it. Um, but pretty much what we have today, I've ordered a bucket loads of parts. I've got a whole bunch of parts in my bedroom. Uh, nothing too interesting, but things that I definitely need for the build. Um, but there is one thing that I wasn't going to buy just yet that I did end up making a purchase of. Uh, so right here, that is uh, this new, this new Spoldy Boy. So I picked that up for a pretty good price. Um, it is a high flow CT26 made by Kinu Gowa. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, it's pretty much got a uh, larger turbine wheel and an adjustable wastegate actuator. Um, I'm pretty sure that the turbine wheel in it is a Garrett 60 to one. So it's got pretty much a 50% higher flow through it. Um, and so pretty much what we need to do today is I'm going to switch everything off of the old turbo onto the new turbo so it's ready to mount to the manifold once I get the gaskets in um, and there's a couple of things I need to do with the downpipe but I'll explain that a bit later so uh, let's uh, let's get cracking <laughs> Hi right, guys, so now that the factory turbo is disconnected from the manifold, um, we can clearly see the size difference between the new turbo and the old one. Yeah, look how many extra blades there are in this new one you know, when compared to the original CT26. Um, and just the, the intake is way bigger. I think it's the compressor side, I'm not too sure. Um, I'm not too technical when it comes to these sorts of things, but the compressor side is way bigger. So it should make it a bit easier to reach that 300 horsepower goal. Um, so now what I need to do is uh, figure out what the hell to do to get rid of this thing um, and pretty much switch everything over to the new turbo. Um, I don't have the new gaskets, so I'm going to have to wait for those to come in because I'm replacing uh, all, all the oil feed gaskets and things like that just to be on the safer side. Um, and I also, because this is an adjustable wastegate, I do want to know what size spring is in here. So we'll figure that one out today. Finally got the uh, wastegate actuator spring out and uh, it is a yellow one. Um, so if we go over to the Kinugawa website, um, we can see that the yellow spring is about one bar of boost, which from memory is about 14 and a half PSI. Um, so this is only re re really gonna be relevant until I get my electronic boost controller and then go standalone. Um, so this doesn't really matter. I'm not going to end up putting a bigger spring in it um, because we're gonna be bypassing it with the electronic boost controller anyway. Um, but it was just good to know because I didn't wanna whack this in the car if it had the black spring, um, which is capable of two bar, so that just that just wouldn't uh, be a good day for me. Let's tackle this janky wastegate dump pipe. So, so I think that this has actually just been the original 
one with the big bugger off catalytic converter has just been chopped to the flange and they've just welded a three inch dump to it. Um, all this is just some Chinese spec dump pipe um, because look how disgusting this is on the inside. It'd be terrible for flow. Have a look at that. So that's actually the three inch pipe where it begins. It looks like they've just chopped off the original flange and welded a bigger pipe to it and it just looks really bad. So I'm going to take my, uh, my Dremel and uh, just see if I can grind away some of that metal in there just to make it a, a bit more free flowing. Alright guys, so I've spent way too much time on this dump pipe, uh, but everything is actually looking a lot better than what it was originally. Um, I spent so long on it that uh, my gaskets for the turbo actually ended up arriving. Um, but I'm going to show you the dump pipe now. It, it doesn't look perfect, but it definitely looks a million times better than what it did before. Um, and the flow is just going to be so much better. So there is still a little bit of a ridge over here. I didn't want to go too deep because that is where the welding is. And the welding job on this dump pipe isn't amazing. So I didn't want to risk the chance of cracking the weld or uh, breaking through and then having an air leak. So it does look a million times better. I did notice that there was some uh, scratching, some horizontal scratching in the, uh, in the wastegate area. So I did try and uh, sand that out and make it as smooth as possible. Uh, it's again, it's not perfect, but it's it's a million times better than what it was before. So hopefully we'll have a bit more flow, and this dump pipe is done. Now that I have the gaskets, we can finally uh, swap all the stuff from the turbos over. Um, I do need to go get some RTV uh, gasket sealer, so I can seal off all the oil lines. Um, but yeah, so we're going to get cracking back onto the turbos now. Alright guys, so I've been spending the last couple of days cleaning all the components for the car. They're not all complete yet and they're not all clean yet, uh, but I thought I'd update you guys on the whole turbo situation. So on the oversized turbo, I have managed to fit everything so it's ready to drop into the car and attach to the exhaust manifold. So as you can see, all the coolant lines that were on the old turbo are now connected to the new one. Um, the only issue I really did run into is that there's supposed to be two bolts that bolt this bracket into the wastegate bracket um, but it doesn't quite line up so it's not the end of the world so I'm just going to leave those out for now because I don't want to go and redrill everything um, it's not too big of a deal but I just thought I'd let you guys know about that one so cleaning all these parts is driving me absolutely insane I thought I'd uh, show you guys one of the new parts that I've bought for this car um, and it's to replace this disgusting thing Uh, I bought a eBay spec aluminium radiator. So I'm going to try and get that ready to drop into the car when it's needed. So I'm going to attach the fan shroud um, and just make sure that everything will line up and that it will actually fit. Okay, so the one thing I did completely neglect was the extra thickness of this radiator might not actually allow for the OEM shroud to fit in the designated space in the engine bay. Not only that, uh, but none of the mounting holes for the shroud line up on the eBay spec radiator. Anyway, so I cannot use this OEM fan and shroud, so I'm going to have to order a slimline one off of eBay, preferably, 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 preferably from the same seller, um, that way hopefully it will ensure that it fits. So all we did was just install these little uh, rubber shock absorbers on the bottom and uh, there's nothing more we can do. So I'm going to whack it back in the box and uh, just throw out that old one. Okay, so no one on eBay sells the fans. I'm sure they're a generic fan, um, but I can't find the exact dimension fan that I need. So I've reached out to one of the sellers that are selling the same 
ready at it as I bought and I've just asked them if they can sell the fans separately. Hopefully they respond and I can get those fans shipped here ASAP. But for now, this can go in the bin. <laughs> 